His Excellency President Emerson Nangagwa is expected to leave the country this afternoon to join fellow African heads of states at the high level 15th US Africa Business Summit that kicks off at the Royal Area Convention Center. More than 1,000 participants will take part in the continent's largest annual gathering of US and African leaders, senior government officials, private sector executives, international investors, and multilateral stakeholders. Running under the theme Enhancing Africa's Value in Global Value Chain, the summit will compromise a lineup of more than 100 speakers, among them business and government leaders providing insights on emerging opportunities for U.S. Africa trade, investment and commercial engagement. Also, priority action areas for collaboration in key growth sectors of agribusinesses, finance, energy, health infrastructure, ICT and creative industry. Highlights include presidential dialogues, invitations only round tables and closed-door pitch sessions for institutional investors. At the summit, the president joined his Botswana counterpart, President Mogwesi Masisi, whose country is co-hosting the summit with the Corporate Council on Africa and fellow African heads of state, including President Felipe Nyusi of Mozambique, Haji Gainko of Namibia, Ekande Ekechelima of Zambia, Mohamed Bozoma of Nigeria, the Prime Minister of Lesotho, Samuel Matekan, and the Eswatini Prime Minister, Klopas I mean, who also take part in the summit. Zimbabwe was last year, for the first time since its establishment in 2014, invited the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit, signaling a chance of heard by Western countries, including the U.S., towards the country. Thanks to the Second Republic's engagement and engagement drive, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, Dr. Frederick Shaw, attended the summit last December in Washington, D.C. Speaking to the media, Zimbabwe's top envoy to the U.S. Ambassador, Ted Shifamba, said the president's attendance at the summit points to the improvement of relationship between Zimbabwe and the U.S. The attendance by the president is again further testimony of his desire to re-engage and to demonstrate that Zimbabwe is ready to welcome American investors just as we have welcomed John Deere and also many other investors in the past. And this is a demonstration that Zimbabwe is open for business and that he is prepared to, to get go to the extra mile to demonstrate Zimbabwe's readiness for engagement. Our approach as Zimbabwe is not to say we are going to the world with a begging power. We are saying to the world that we have a that takes for mutual beneficial partnerships and cooperation. We have the human resource base, the natural resource base, and our country is already showing positive signs in terms of attracting huge investors in iron and steel, platinum and and so many other industries. So we are ready to engage on the basis of mutual beneficial partnership. Ambassador Chifamba said, following the leaders' summit in December last year, relations have continued to warm up with a lot of interest in green energy minerals like lithium. The top envoy said an MOU will be signed on the sidelines of the summit that will see the creation of a biotechnology city in the Eastern Highlands bringing 20 U.S. companies into project. We have been in active contact with the U.S. State Department and we have quite a number of useful interactions in terms of looking at our relationship. But also, most importantly, we focused our attention on engaging the different states in the United States. In the first quarter, we were focusing our attention on Atlanta and we made a lot of useful contacts with the mayor and business communities of Atlanta and our own diasporans.